He looks so peaceful, doesn't he? No, he doesn't look peaceful. He looks dead. Just kidding. Who's paying for all this, anyway? What do you think? I understand Jim has a new set of dentures, too. Priest murdered in Catholic hospital. Has a nice ring to it. It'll probably sell. What do you want to do? There's a nurse who's avoiding me. She knows something. Why aren't the police investigating? No one's making a complaint. Shut the door! Body's in the ground already, right? A story like this takes too long, starts to stink. Just give me a day, two days. Bob. Hi. These are for you. They're for my kids. If you could just make a comment or two in the margins, just to show them you looked it up. Have you eaten? Not hungry. Could I have a word with you? Yeah, sure. Come on. What's up? Sit down. Oh, yeah? I wanted you to be the first to know. There's a man in my life. Well, that's all. You in trouble? No, I'm not in trouble. I'm in love. I'm in love. I'm leaving the sisterhood. Are you sure? I've never been more sure of anything in my life. Bob, he isn't a Catholic or I'd ask you to marry me, us. Would you walk me down the aisle? Would you give me away? Oh, I'm gonna miss you. I know. I'm sorry. 
Congratulations. Feels good to have told you. Yeah. And? Yeah. God bless you. Thanks. I'll need it. Sophie? Father, did you see Sister Anne at early mass? No. Why? She promised to bring me something before she went to school this morning. Yeah, you want me to go to school and see if she's got it? I already called. They said she isn't there.
Margaret. Father Kessler? Yes? I'm Pat Lennon, Detroit Free Press. Uh -huh. They told me at the rectory you're on your way over. I hope you don't mind. No. Nobody was here. I thought I'd make myself at home. Yes, Margaret's just gone around the corner. May I smoke? Sure. Well, this must be a doubly bad time for you. How's that? I heard about Sister Vanya's accident at the convent over the weekend. She was young for a nun, wasn't she? Yes. Thank you. Do you mind if I sit? No, of course not. Uh, excuse me. That's OK. And then there was Father Lord's passing away earlier in the week. You knew him too, didn't you? Yes, that's right. He's one of your instructors in seminary school. Yes. In St. Louis. How can I help you? Pat, Pat Lennon. I got that. Let me be blunt. We're both in the newspaper business. <laughs> Please. Are you aware of the rumors surrounding Father Lord's death? I've heard the talk. Well, what sort of talk? I thought you were going to get to the point. I'm sorry, Father. I've got no right to pry into this, but there's a nurse named Nancy Baldwin who was the first one to look in on Father Lord after the Ash Wednesday service in the hospital chapel. Anyway, she needed badly to talk to someone. She didn't want to go to the police. It's funny how a lot of Catholics aren't comfortable talking to a priest unless they're in a confessional, feel they've committed a sin. I'm Catholic. I'm just the opposite. I guess I don't like guilt. Anyway, Nancy Baldwin told me confidentially she discovered Father Lord, and the plug was out of the wall. Now, she thinks somebody did it to him. In fact, she's sure of it. She told me something else, too. When she found him already dead, he was holding a rosary. Now, it was not the rosary she knew to be his own. The mother of pearl one he was buried with, it was a different one. I got her to give it to me, and now I don't know what to do with it. I thought you might want it. These are the two that were found by yourself and Nancy Baldwin. Yes. Good. You were the first one to discover Sister Anne in the convent bathroom. Yes, I was. And did you notice at that time that she was holding a rosary? Yes. Sister Anne wasn't raped. Nothing was stolen. No sign of a break-in anywhere. Maybe she left the door unlocked. No. No, she wouldn't do that. Why not? Because of where I am, the, na the neighborhood is uh, it's not very safe. Could have followed her in. But then why go to all the trouble to arrange a scene in the bathroom? No sign of a break-in anywhere. Windows were locked from the inside. All the doors were locked. Tunnels. What tunnels? These tunnels connect all the buildings at Holy Redeemer, one to another. Now, the church, the convent, the rectory, I don't know, over 100 years old. And these passageways are the oldest. When the other structures were built, the grade school, the junior high and high school, the uh, powerhouse, auditory, the gym, the new tunnels at the end.
What's this used for? Nothing now. Condemned, structurally unsound. Lieutenant, you better take a look at this. Where's your bar? Hi. Hi. Thanks for coming down. I'm sorry, I'm late. I was writing John Daly's obituary. What'll it be? Uh. What did it be? It's a Virgin Mary. That's good for me. You knew Father Daly. Well, you know, I'm the editor of the Catholic for eight years, you end up. You probably know the religions of this city better than anybody. Yeah, probably. Do you see any pattern in all this? Pattern? The rosaries. Uh, that's, that's just to let us know that he's making a puzzle, like uh, guessing a word with some of the letters missing. Um, priest. A nun, a priest. Did they know each other? Were they all uh, liberals, conservatives, uh, pro-abortion? Did they all work on some sort of church council together? I'd have to look in my files, but I can do that. I think subconsciously the guy wants to be stopped. Hi, guys. Hi. Ned Harris told me I'd find you both here. He's all yours. I was just leaving. Thanks, Father. Yes, of course, and I'll uh, be in touch. Yeah, sure. Take good care of him. I like this guy. Me too. Thank you. Do you want a drink? Would you? Mm. Sure. So, what do you want? <sighs> Help. Yeah, I still need that. And? One. Did you give him any help? Not yet. Can you? No, I don't know. Mm. Mm. You going? Why? You got something in mind? I don't have anything to do. And, um, 
I don't want to do what I have not nothing to do alone, <laughs> so that's why. Let's take a walk. I used to want to become a nun. What happened? I grew up. I became a woman. <laughs> Where's that leave me? I used to want to become a priest. I'm afraid I'm going to lose this story. But it's your story. You broke it. Oh, that doesn't matter to them. If there's another murder and the cops don't get him right away, it'll go national. It's that good. So? So they'll feel it'll have gotten too big for me, that's all. They've got other reporters with more seniority and more experience than the reporters who are men. Let your baby baptized. Yes, Father. I got this card screwed up. This the baby's last name is uh, Ruiz. It's it's no mistake, Father. What do you mean? The father's name is Gregory Ruiz. You mean this child was born out of wedlock? He will not marry me. Well, I'm sorry, but this child cannot be baptized in the church. Oh, but Father Kessler said... It doesn't matter what Father Kessler said. Church law is very clear on this. But you know it's a mortal sin to commit fornication. Yes, Father. Well, I should hope so. But what about my baby? As you live, you die. With every breath you take, you draw that much closer to death. We came to this communion rail on Ash Wednesday, and as I rubbed the ashes on your forehead, I reminded each and every one of you, remember, man, thou art dust, and to dust thou shalt return. But when? Ask our Lord present here on the altar. He knows. Ask him. Lord, when am I going to die? Lord, when am I going to die? When I am sick? Will I die under the surgeon's knife? Or under the wheels of a train? Or under the wheels of a train? Will my charred body be removed from a terrible fire? Or my swollen body dragged from a river? Lord, be on your lips and in your heart so that you may rightly and sincerely confess your sins. It's all right. Take your time. There's no hurry. 
I'm the one. Excuse me? I'm the one. Scared father. Yes. I got one in my pocket. On what? A rosary. Why are you doing this? My daughter died three years ago. She was 16 years old. like to lose a daughter. No. It was because of you. I don't understand. All of you. It's a valid confession. Say five Our Fathers and five Hail Marys and cut it out? Is that it? No, that isn't it. You've come here because you want me to stop you, because you want me to help you stop I'm them. not finished. More of you to come. I promise you that. Please, listen to me. Please, talk to me. Please. Please. confesses you that he's put cyanide in the communion wine. If he what? Th that he's poisoned the church wine. He absolved him of sin, okay? Is there any way that you can warn the congregation not to drink the wine? Of course not. So you just let all those people drink it and die? We're saving souls, Bob, not lives. We already see the penitent soul. If the penitent's confession is betrayed, no one will ever feel safe in confession again. Break the seal of confession, and you destroy the church. So the priest has to live with all those lives in his conscience. It's his job. Kelly. People are going to die. Bob, I don't know what's going on with you, and I don't want to. You're going to have to learn to live with it. I don't think I can. But then you're going to have to find some way to accidentally spill that wine. It isn't wine, Killy. Killy.
see you. Oh, my God, are you all right? Hello, Father. I saw your light on up here from the street. Can I come in? Please. Well, you know, she'd been driving around this particular neighborhood this particular hour. What are you working on? Oh, nothing. Is this a bad time? No, 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 please. Don't go. <sighs> yeah, it is a bad time. I know. Sorry. I lost the story. I saw that. Thanks for your help. I'm not gone. <laughs> uh. <clears throat> I think I also might have lost my job. I'm glad I happened to be driving by. Let's do something. What, you mean, like, go out? Yeah, let's go someplace. Yeah? Like on a date? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like on a date. Great. Where's the nearest bar? Downstairs. <laughs> Time to get back to my miserable little life, I suppose. See the tiger. Look. I'm the pastor here, and I say no. The Jimenez baby is a bastard. Its parents are screwing at every opportunity. They won't get married. What am I supposed to do? I'm not sure they ought to get married. I think there could be a big mistake for both of them. I think you're probably right. And what about the child? That's their responsibility. Well, they've assumed their responsibility. I mean, she has. I th I'm convinced the child will be raised a good Catholic. A good Catholic? She gave up that claim when she put her ankles behind her ears in the back seat of his car. Why can't we be more concerned with peace of mind and not peace of ass? 
peace of mind. Piece of ass. <laughs> That's a good one. Oh, Ted. Look, Bob. You want me to read church law to you? No, I don't want you to read church law to me. I know what church law says, and it doesn't apply. It does apply. It has to apply. Everything the church stands for is based upon law. What about compassion, understanding? What about forgiveness, charity? As long as the situation remains the way it is, that baby will not be baptized in my church, and that's final. Your church. My church. And if you try to go off and do this on your own, or somehow arrange for it to be done, and I find out about it, you'll be in very serious trouble. Hello, Father. Hello, Shirley. Do you have to go? Yeah. What's the matter? Nothing. Bob? How, uh, how do you tell a priest that you care about him? Father in heaven, hear us, your children. We ask you for health, to show us a healing hand and make us well. Say it, sister. We pray also for our loved ones who suffer because we suffer. Be with us and them this night. Amen. Believe Jesus. We ask you this with faith that you will hear us. Amen. 
Amen. Amen. Amen, amen, amen. Was that all right, Mrs. Washington? That was just fine, sister. Good night, Mrs. Washington. Good night, Sister Magdala. Thank you. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, blessed be the holy and undivided Trinity, now and forever. Amen. I give you thanks, O my God, through Jesus Christ, your beloved Son, for all you have given me throughout my life, and particularly for preserving me this day. We ask that you care and protect for our families, and that you give leadership. <laughs> Daily, Honora, Killeen, Magdala.
I remember Kathy Jamison very well. The difference. I don't know what happened to her over that summer. She'd been a sweet girl, warm, affectionate, a good student. Then when she came back the next fall, she was completely changed. She was moody, troubled. Her grades fell. Why? I mean, do you have any idea what might have caused the change? You might ask Sister Margaret Murray of the Holy Martyrs. She was Kathy's advisor that last year. Perhaps she knows something I don't. Uh, she teaches here? No. She left after that year. And she hasn't stayed in touch with anyone after teaching here for over 20 years. It's odd. I'm sure she's still in the sisterhood somewhere. Sister... Margaret. Mary. Mary. Of the Holy Martyrs. Yes. Thank you, sister. Not at all. You know, so many teenagers get involved in drugs and alcohol or both, and that's how these tragedies occur. But Kathy wasn't into that. It was something else entirely. What tragedies are you referring to, sister? Don't you know? Kathy Javison committed suicide. Hi. How do you do? I'm Sister Mary Elizabeth. How may I help you? Are you the prioress here, Sister? Yes. Well, then perhaps you can tell me, is there a Sister Margaret Mary of the Holy Martyrs residing here? Yes. Well, could I speak with her, please? I'm afraid that would not be possible. Why not? No one can speak with Sister Margaret Mary. When she entered this cloister not quite three years ago, she took a vow of silence and has not spoken a word since then to anyone except God. A vow of silence? OK, thank you.
Lord be on your lips and in your heart so that you may rightly and sincerely confess your sins. I can't help you. Forgive me, Father, for I have sinned. It's been, uh, it's been 17 years since my last confession. In that time, I haven't been in church deliberately. Pat? I've turned my back on the church and all those associated with it. Come on. I've slept with it. I've been to bed with a lot of men. Sometimes one, sometimes more than one. I've slept with women. Guilty of greed, jealousy, malice, covetousness. But worst of all, I've lost my faith in God. And in the goodness of mankind, and the suffering of our Lord Jesus. Since the sins of my past life, I'm truly sorry. Pat. Yes, Father. Why are you doing this? I want to go ahead with it. I don't like this anymore. Things have changed. That's all I know. Please. You have a rosary? Mm-hmm. Say five by fathers and five hail marriage. And my act of contrition. Say it on the way home. Will you give me absolution?
Mr. Jameson? You, you have to talk to me. Is there any substance to the newly concocted penance theory of free press editor Nelson Kane? The police are taking it very seriously. They will be out in force tomorrow, and Detroit's Catholic priests and nuns are being told to stay home, stay indoors. Don't go out unless absolutely necessary. Morning, Father. My name's Roy Mills. Oh, yes. Uh, I got a phone call yesterday. I guess I forgot all about it. Glad to know you. Good to know you, too, Roy. I'm Father Harold Steele. I know. So where are you headed? Communion call to a shut-in. I'll only be a minute. Oh, wait a minute, Father. I got orders to stay with you today like a shadow. Those may be your orders, but... 
my orders to protect the secrecy of confession. And in the small flat the woman has, there's no way to get you out of your shot. Mrs. Gates? Gates? Mrs. Gates? That's all right, I already left one, thank you. Are you Father Coastler? Kessler, yeah, that's right. Miss Lennon asked us to give you a message. She said to tell you that she's gone away. Uh, she's gone away? Where? I don't know, sir, she didn't say. Uh, when did she leave us? A couple of days ago. I think she moved out of town. We've been instructed to discontinue service at the end of the month. Um... Okay, thank you. She told us to tell you something else. Yes? She told us to tell you <laughs> she loves you. Want to hold it a minute? See some ID? You see the badge, the uniform, how about the patrol guard? Yeah, I can see all that. But this is my house now. I'm not gonna let happen here what happened downtown to that cop this morning. It won't, now that I'm here. Makes me feel a hell of a lot better. You can thank me later. Sister Margaret Mary. I'm Father Kessler from Holy Redeemer. I've come to talk to you about a girl, Kathy Javison. Do you remember her? I'm trying to de determine the 
cause of Kathy Javison's death. Do you know anything about that? I understand that. I mean, I know about that. But I'm trying to find out, sister, if you know, is why Kathy Javison hanged herself. Didn't Archbishop Boyle contact the Prioress sister? And didn't he exempt you for this interview from your vow of silence? Do you want me to call the Prioress back in here, sister? Sorry, I don't understand this. I don't understand this. Please help me. With her father. What? With her father. I was the only one she would ever come to. Not right away, not for a long time. Finally, she came to me. She told me her father was committing incest with her. She wanted to stop, somehow. I called her a liar. I told her her father would not do something so unspeakable. I chastised her severely for having foul thoughts and spreading wicked lies. She wouldn't talk to me after that. Out of shame. A month later, she killed herself. And I knew she had told me the truth. Telephone repairman. We've had some complaints of lines across the neighborhood. I just wanted to. Ready to go? 
go, Father? Sister Margaret Mary, take a look at my face. Sit down, Father. Obviously now we're dealing with a man who's going after specific premeditated targets. Not just anybody with a collar or a habit who happens to be available. So, what do you think? I don't know what... Come on, Father, I'm not stupid. You know something and you're not talking. I don't think I know anything. I don't give a damn what you think. You interview a woman who's taken a vow of silence for the past three years, and two minutes later she turns up dead, and you're not going to tell me what it's all about? I don't have anything to say. If you want to sit there and watch while your friends are dying, that's up to you. But now my men are getting killed. And they're not all Catholic. And they may not all understand about your little professional secrets. On your way out of here. I want you to take a good look at our little bulletin board. And look into your soul. And then decide what it is you can tell me. It's up to you now. Lieutenant Kosnicki, please. Well, would you ask him to phone Bob Kessler? K.O. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, he has a number. Thank you. Lord, you are good. 
God. <laughs> you shall not use God's name in vain. Sorry. In vain down the drain. And vain, yeah. Let Killy be killed. Thou should not have killed Killy. Killy should not have been killed. Kill. You shall not steal. Steal. Father Harold Steel. Just a second, hang on. there be a father and wife or something in the area? Why do I have to be the only one? Hey, Bob, did you see the archdiocese directory? Yeah, it's over there. Oh, thanks. Bob, did you look up the Greek word for covet? No, I didn't. Oh, would you do that for me, please? Maybe a father spouse. Father neighbors. You better come along now. Come along? Where? Down to headquarters. Tomorrow's Good Friday. We have a lot of planning to do. Friday. I don't see what's so good about it. Christ died on Good Friday. Behold, the wood of the cross.
Cheer up, Bob. If he didn't get me in the church, he's not going to get me at all. That was his best chance. I'm going to be all right. You just can't give up hope, huh? Well, I swell company you turned out to be. I'm going outside. Is everything okay? Yeah. Everything's fine. It's almost midnight. This was his last Friday. It's too late for him to do anything here and still get to a nun. He's had to blow his whole plan. <sighs> Has anything else happened? Anywhere else in the city? No, nothing. All's quiet. I think we've stopped him. Anyway. We'll still be outside for a while. If anything changes or we decide to pull on, we'll let you know. Thank you, sir. Poor soul lost his daughter during the night. Such a tragedy. I know it's kind of late, but there's nothing like making arrangements to get your mind off things. You wait here just a moment. I'll see if I have the forms. 
It's not too late. Yes, it is. She's dead. Not her soul. Her soul is in hell. We're all set. Let me handle this, Ted. I can handle it. No, you're tired. I'm always tired, Bob. I've been a priest for 37 years, you know? 37 years. Ted, please. I want Father Neighbors. Just step in my office here. I don't want you here. She would want me to be here. She would want you to talk to me. You broke the seal. No, I didn't. You liar. There it is. Now, what did your uh, daughter die of? I was fucking her. I was fucking my daughter. I was fucking her late at night, in the darkness, in her own bed, while her mother was asleep. It was killing her. Jesus. Did you see a priest? Oh, yes. Told me, told me to cut it out. He said, say five our fathers, five Hail Marys, and cut it out. He absolved me. He absolved me. Do you know who that priest is? I think you do. His name. Ted neighbors. Look at me, Father. Okay, Father. Watch out for the broken glass. Let's get the photographers in here right now. Come on, move them in. It's a guy, all right. He's got some wounds in his leg. Handgun checks out. No ID, but it's him. We did find this in his pocket. Looks like he's been carrying it around for a while.
So in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Dear Father, I'm sitting at your desk writing this. Mother is downstairs somewhere. Soon I will go back to my room and close the door for the last time. I just can't keep hating myself. I wish to God I knew where I'm going. I'm afraid. Goodbye, Father. Please forgive me as I now forgive you. May the Lord bless you and keep you forever and ever. Love, Kathy. Thank you. 